Hello everyone, watch this review here where they look at the Desert Ambush Shana Scarlet O'Hara from the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra line. By the way, this is also the default outfit that she wears in the uh, video game, which by the way I wouldn't recommend, it's actually a kind of crappy game. A little bit of an info read up here in the back. Hold on a second and I'll get her out a pack. Desert Ambush Scarlet comes with the usual base with her name on it, a pistol, a crossbow, which uh, works in conjunction with this little grapple gun here, or grapple, because this is technically the gun portion, which uh, connects to a harness, which in turn connects to this giant ugly yellow thing, which is fired from this cannon here. Um, I guess kind of an odd way to implement the gimmick, but um, the cords, the string is just one solid thing for both of them. I guess you kind of have the choice of cutting it and keeping the one you want or leaving the both kind of awkwardly attached, but this uh, straps around her back for, um, I guess, kind of climbing up wall poses. She has one other accessory or two, depending on you count it. Her little belt here has a holster for a, another pistol, which is kind of cool. Um, it's actually identical to the first one, so not 100% sure why they'd give two, but it's probably a good reason I'm not aware of. Now the uh, crossbow comes in two pieces in box. You have to attach this brittle little thing to the front of this. Uh, possible breakage issue there. By the way, this is also her special attack weapon in the game. Of course, the weapon that the character is probably best known for. Before I forget, I just want to also mention that the crossbow clips into the holster as well. There's a little clip here. Just uh, fits in right there along the silver portion. In general, you know, I actually think that this Scarlet is a pretty nice looking figure, which, you know, a few of the stuff from the Rise of Cobra and the movie lines and everything I wasn't that fond of, but um, the body looks great, uh, good use of paint and everything for the portion. Uh, the only real complaint, I guess, would have to be the paints used on the heads and just the facial expression here. I mean, Scarlet looks incredibly, incredibly bored. It's like a Oh, we're killing cobras again, look. I've seen bigger explosions. You know, it's just, um, the character looks like she's, um, just so bored to be here right now. But I think that they did the pretty marvelous job on the hair and stuff, especially the curls at the end. Also on the front portion, but it just could have used a little extra shading to make the color pop a bit. And then again, the expression could be a little bit more dynamic. And, you know, their face could have a bit more color. But other than that, you know, very impressive looking. I do really like the body sculpt here, as previously mentioned. And I'll probably mention it a few more times. There's a pretty decent mix of, like, grays and blacks for all the little padded portions here. Uh, not so much on the other portions that don't have, like, the little... I don't know if you call them, but, you know, the little armor and dents and stuff, but you have the patterning all along the arms, all along the upper torso and stuff, and then just right here. Now, the boots are just uh, one giant long portion. It's all this shiny, glossy plastic, same as used for the shoes. I'm not sure if that was an intentional choice or what. Same sort of glossy plastics on the holster. The guns, of course, really aren't painted or anything, but that's kind of expected. So I think I've said all that I really can about this, so let me just uh, jump into articulation in a second after I just show off the detailing. Uh, sort of standard articulation for the G.I. Joe. You have a point of rotation at the wrist, ball and socket at the elbow, shoulders, you know, ball joint, except for this um, shoulder pad here does impede it somewhat. Not so much the hair, just the way the hair is sculpted doesn't really get in the way. You have a torso joint, really strong range of motion. Forward, back, everything. 
ball joint here at the leg hip, double pin at knee, and ball and socket and ankle. So I mean, yeah. Of course the head also has limited articulation, mostly just side to side due to the hair sculpt. Um, all in all, I feel this is a great figure. Um, the accessories may leave a little to be desired. I mean, yeah, most of the stuff's pretty cool. It's just the problem where you have the two strings bound and connected, which I don't really get why they would do that, but whatever. I mean, if you don't like one, you can always chop it off. And of course, you have the cool launcher for the kitties, but I think I didn't pop the thing in right. Oh, there it goes. Whee! I mean, yeah, that's fun, right? This has been a look at the Desert Ambush Scarlet from the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra line. Until next time, folks.